Hi guys, it's Debbie from Duluth Art. Um, I'm going to try something a little different tonight. I'm going to actually use some of my unicorn spit. I, I was so excited when I heard about it. I wanted, I, I just had to have it. So I ordered it and it's been sitting here for probably a year now. So I'm going to try it out tonight and I'm going to try that flower technique or that baggy technique again. Uh, using this walnut bag to make a flower and I'm not going to dilute the unicorn spit I'm going to use it straight out of the bottle now it is a it's it's a gel stain and it's water based so I have my canvas I put uh, two coats of uh, I use bullseye um, primer so I put two coats on here to seal the canvas pretty good Anyway, uh, this is just a white acrylic paint mixed with Floetrol that I'm going to um, use for the background here. And the black one I did previously the, with the black background, it's drying, and it seems to be drying okay as far as uh, keeping its color, but it still wasn't as bright as I wanted it. So I thought I'll use this unicorn spit and just use it out of the bottle to see what happens. It might be a disaster, but I've done a lot of reading on it, but I could not find... Uh, I could find where people were mixing it with Floetrol and doing like dirty pours and flip cups and stuff and it works great with that but I would think that it would be very uh, costly to do that kind of art with it I don't you know anyway you can get these bottles they get the smaller ones at Hobby Lobby um, and I think they run about 10 bucks for the small bottle so I'm going to use um, I don't have orange, so I'm, I guess I'm going to use like red. This one's called Molly Red Pepper. So I'm going to use red, and then I'm going to use the, uh, the Magneta. Magneta. Why do I do that? Magenta. Magneta. Where did that come from? <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to use the red, and then I'm going to use some, uh, let's say pink. See how it goes. Oh, don't tell me. Guess you have to open the bottle. It's pretty thick. Well, I'm having to push so hard. Okay. Alrighty. Never thought to check all these bottles before I started. Here we go. I'm hoping with this thickness that it will be brighter. These two hands here. Excuse me if I'm in the way. Didn't want any white in between it. And I mixed up my own purple because I didn't, I don't know where the purple went. Put that in the middle. It smells so good. I don't know uh, what fragrance that is, but these smell delicious. I have used this in resin. I like to color my resin. It works good that way. Then I'm going to use a little 
yellow. Some green for the leaves. I just have one color green here, so I might use some uh, of the neon with this, the acrylic. Oh, that comes out pretty quick. Okay, let's see. What did I do with that neon? Put up all my acrylics. There it is. Neon. Now this has a flow troll in it, so. All right. Do I want to spritz it with water? I think I might. I just got a little spray bottle here. I'm gonna three spritz. And I'm gonna turn this around this way. Okay, here we go. I'm trying not to press down so hard like I did the last time and lose spread my color so far out. Okay. Ooh. That came out different. This always comes out so good. It's like, why can't I save that? I'm going to go put that on a canvas somewhere. Anyway, I think I like that. It's still pretty runny. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have spritzed it. That's pretty though. I like it. But I do like this better. Okay, let me show you what I did the other day. What I started doing, I'm going to move this out for just a minute while I bring it up close for you to see if you can see it good. Purple kind of looks black. I should have maybe lightened that up more. So, anyway, it's pretty. Here's what I did the other day with my um, baggie when it was left over on the bag. I just put it on this really big canvas. Got a couple little flowers out of it. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to put this one in it. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to put it right here. put it. I really love that. Okay. I'm trying to put a little dab, a little in on the end here. All right. There we go. Love it. Makes me want to go, um, <laughs> go get my balloon and smash those flowers around. Or this flower around, which I think I'm actually going to do. That looks really cool. I like it. So, um, that's what I'm going to do. Be patient with me. I will get a good flower out of this. This takes me a while. So, balloon. Where are you? Here you are. So, I'll put a little bit more white paint in there. Okay. 
Well, if I ruin it, I ruin it. But here we go. I know there's a lot of color in there. Let's see, isn't that pretty? Oh man, love it. Mm. It's kind of getting muddy now, I need to stop. Well, I love those vibrant colors. I think if you notice my artwork, I like bright, bold, in-your-face art. I like that. Okay. Should I give it another smush? Uh, I think I want to add a little yellow to it, maybe, and lighten it up a little. So... You can tell I haven't used this in a year. Is it open? I don't want it to squirt out. Okay, there we go. Some yellow in there. Down here. And then I'm gonna put some of the pink in there too. Magenta. Magenta. My granddaughter uses uh, <laughs> uses my smaller set, and she does um, slime, and it works really good with her slime. She says it doesn't make it sticky, so if anybody out there makes slime, and it smells really good, if anybody makes slime, this stuff is good, and I feel comfortable her using it because it's non-toxic. So, here we go. One more smash. Here. Here. Actually, think about putting some green in back in there. Smash one more time. And then I don't think I'm going to smash it anymore. Um, Maybe a little bit here. Oops. Maybe not. Maybe I'll do my green like that. Don't like that either. I think that's what I'll do. Just kind of... Bottles are away. Don't want it turning it into mud. Okay. I think I'm leaving it there. So it does make beautiful, vibrant colors. And I think I'm going to experiment more with this and uh, see what we come up with. This isn't too bad, though. That would be a beautiful butterfly. Really pretty colors. My ends up here start turning into mud, but I like it. Unicorn spit. Um, I'm going to keep going here and see if I can come up with something clever. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share. Uh, it's much appreciated. See y'all later. Bye.